my people so reverend funke has come out to say her own side of the story hmm my people hey, hey this matter no be here oh because you see they all need to be angry at you it is better that another person entirely in fact the whole world should rather be angry at you than they only being angry at you considering the fact say reverend funke don't come a very very long way with only naomi and you know all this whole palace matter to come be on the very wrong side of only all of a sudden simply because she knew something and she didn't find it worthy of telling kabiesi so my people right now are waiting they happen be that too but before we dive into the matter proper make i take welcome on our back special onto this channel where we don't turn better family members like so how on a day do hi uh, good morning good afternoon good evening or based on time where on they follow see this video so my people right now now waiting with the here allegedly on top internet be that reverend funke don't come out to come say her own side of the story and her own side of the story hmm hey <laughs> let me smart you know according to her she has known naomi since naomi went into ministry and before naomi came to marry the only of ife she knew olori naomi so naomi is more like a child she has nurtured into maturity all these years and what the only thing she expected from naomi was to prosper in all ramifications so only should know that she would not come against something that she wishes that it should prosper she would rather look out for the well-being of that very thing and she will see to it that the thing enjoys good health a prosperity in good environment good mental health you know she mentioned a lot of things she talks so many things so oh. hey, hey so my people after everything she don't talk she comes fifth see follow talk say it is not in her business to intrude into people's marriages despite the fact that she holds conferences she travels from country to country she moves from place to place preaching to people and letting them know um, they were how they should manage their homes how should they should stay with their husbands and then she's not telling the world that because she did do all of these things then she has a perfect marriage no that is not it because she did do one or two based on you know all these facts then she has a wonderful wonderful marriage no there are rooms for quarrel misunderstanding so when naomi had a misunderstanding in her marriage she could clearly understand that it is one of those things that happens in every single marriage at all so it was not in her place to start saying what she doesn't know start putting her mouth on things she cannot really really handle because you know that even after you talk to people if even after you have said a lot to people and you finish it is still their entire decision to do whatsoever they want to do according to waiting she talk oh yes after you have spoken to people because she has had the opportunity to speak to scrout but yeah they left to go do exactly what was on their mind break out of their marriages some went back to their marriages some did this one some did that one so it is always in the decision of the people they are what they have in their hearts yes to to do whatsoever they want even after you have lectured or had a very very long talk and discussions with them so and uh, she would not completely accept the blame from kabiesi kabiesi coming out to call her yes fine and good when she knew that naomi was leaving the palace it's only right that she should have told kabiesi as for reasons being that kabiesi has been a very very good friend to her kabiesi has been to her church one or two times on few occasions so it is only right that she should have carried him along but simply because she didn't carry him along doesn't make her a bad person and simply because she didn't have that audacity to tell him because she, at her own end she was minding her business doesn't make her the person who lured naomi out of the palace she didn't lure naomi out of the palace naomi left the palace simply because the problems in the palace became too much for her her marriage was failing before her own eyes and as a prophetess that she is she needs to project very good image that her followers can follow not that her followers will wake up every morning and say ah the prophetess with the ruined bad marriage and you know all of those things put together those are one of the reasons why naomi left so uh, reverend funke is trying to make us understand that naomi left her marriage because she wanted to impress people yes if not to impress people which one is prophetess with perfect marriage and bra 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 eh she left because she wanted to impress people and who exactly was she impressing even after all of those things people have 
have waged and much support for her to still return back into the palace. She, when she returns, she will now still leave that. And the marriage is not working out, and I'm a prophetess. Ah, make it no be, make it no be, say, waiting, Reverend Frank, I don't talk, now in be that, because if it is, all of us will be highly disappointed. Yes, we'll be disappointed at Olori Naomi for leaving her marriage because of what? One selfish reason that we don't even know. Or make we leave that one for now. But based on waiting, Reverend Funke, they talk now. Make a BSC no completely they angry at her. Because it was actually Lori Naomi's decision to leave her marriage. And if Naomi makes a decision, who is she, Funke, to come and intervene into that decision? Because this is her marriage. Even as she's more like a spiritual advisor over Lori Naomi, she has no soul right. She has no soul right as far to, to come and tell her, stay in your marriage. Pack your things and leave your marriage. Do this one, do this one. Her only role was just to, you know, advise. And she played that role diligently. According to her, she played the role diligently. So right now, Oni never come out to come say anything to her. Yes, because you know Oni, they take um, time to even reply anybody. And then, you know, Reverend Funke, she would actually want to make herself more clear on this. So we'll wait for what will come more from her. But as it stands right now, they are making us understand a lot of things. First, Olori Naomi left her marriage because she wanted to please people. And you know, when she was preaching on the altar, she made a mention of some things that are, that are making people to be very, very curious. Olori Naomi said... Her marriage did not turn out the way she wanted, that she envisioned a marriage and it later failed. So she had something in her mind that did not really, really play out the way she wanted it. So when it didn't go that way, the best thing she could do was to pack her things and leave her whole marriage. Yes. And then secondly, Reverend Fuka is trying to tell us that, yes, what Kabisi said is true. She knew of Olori Naomi leaving the palace, but the best thing she could do was to keep quiet. She knew of every single thing from the beginning because she said Naomi is more like a child she has nurtured from, ch from childhood to maturity. So she literally knows every single thing about Olori Naomi. But when Naomi was leaving, she didn't say anything. And that is where uh, Kabisi's anger is now channeled from. She knew every single thing but she did not say anything. So it was more better that if only she had the mind to tell him that, see, oh, this is what Naomi wants to do. I mean, I feel it is not right. Me, I feel this is not what she should do. And maybe you should look into it. It was, it would have been right if only Reverend Funke had that courage, that audacity to let Kabiesi know. But she didn't. She said it was not in her place to, 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 you know, have any single thing to do with someone's marriage so personal like that. She advises people, but she has nothing to do with someone's marriage to the extent to which KBSC is looking at it. So I hope they resolve it. Yes, Reverend Fokke is a very respectable, respectable woman. People respect her. And do you know only he's also a respectable man. He he loves he, he, he in fact he respects people. Yes, that's all thing we know about him. So right now, no, now how this whole matter will take play out now with the wait. Because if Funke will talk again or KBSC will talk again, and people will go carry and come for owner Jejeli.